guys, I'm Max aka Sedronax and in this video we're gonna be testing the Ace Ninja 5 in Blender. So yes, we're gonna be rendering the files in Blender, we're gonna see how the laptop is performing in this app while rendering some 8k files and we're gonna see how it goes. So before the beginning I also wanna go and promote my Discord server to you guys. We provide here the high quality content. Uh, you can just ask me for anything you want to, questions for Saturnax and stuff like this. You can just also um, talk with others on this chat. So if you want to join my Discord server, the link is in the description. Now let's go in a Blender and we're gonna see how the laptop is performing and rendering the tasks like some 3D projects. So obviously this is the least expensive Ace Nature 5 with GTX 1050 and I will just give you the point of view what kind of a performance you can get with the least expensive Acer Nitro 5 and then if you just upgrade to the better GPU you will get the better performance of course so if you just want to buy this laptop don't worry guys your laptop should be the same or even better than this so as you can see we have the basic project in here but what I want to do is I want to connect my external SSD and there I have my project blender project that I want to render Alright, so here we go, the Blender project has been loaded and now let me also go to my power settings and we were just gonna set the laptop to work with the optimal full performance so it's currently on the low power mode and as you can see so uh, I'll just put that on high performance and as you can see it's set on the high performance right now Alright, so as you can see we've got our Blender project, all of the particles and sprinkles of this don't have been loaded. Looks really really cool, the texture is just really nice looking as you can see. It's so beautiful. So now let me also go to this project and modify some things here. So as you can see now I'm creating a new project here and I can just apply many changes to it and move this thing around and there's no any issues with the laptop doing this thing so if you're just working on a new project you will definitely be satisfied with the performance that the a 5 is just giving you and the really cool thing about laptops with windows is that you can just put any software any kind of a program on the different desktop and as you can see now when i just move with my four fingers to the, to the right you can just watch through some tutorials on how to create the blender projects which is really convenient and yeah just instant as you can see you can just change the figure the shape of the of this figure pretty easily no issues with this the laptop is just handling all the tasks pretty well so when it comes to creating a project it's really convenient to work on this laptop as you can see you can just create everything you want to no issues whatsoever so yes i created this donut just in a blender a couple of months ago and as you can see all of the particles have been loaded properly now we do have a lot of stuff going on here as you can see the texture is just really beautiful we've got a nice crisp stuff going around the donut which is really tasty looking thing and yeah there's no any issues with loading this thing up on the laptop you can just change the the, the way that the thing is being presented to you well, like the shading so you can just manipulate the shading and modify the shading so that's pretty cool and here we also have it rendered now so as you can see now the other things are being loaded and as you can see uh, the laptop is just doing the job pretty well now let me just go to the task manager and we'll just monitor the, um, the utilization of the components that are being used in the laptop so we've got a CPU working 100% absolutely crushed and yeah, that's doing a lot of work here. We obviously have utilized our uh, graphics. So the Intel um, UHD graphics, integrated graphics are being utilized at 10% and the dedicated one, the GeForce 1050 is being utilized at something around 15 to 20%. So that's also quite there. So now let me also go to the project and then we're gonna move this project a little bit and we're gonna see how the moving and rendering affects the GPU utilization and as you can see it's only like I don't know 20% utilized so so even with the GTX 1050 you can just work on a project pretty well pretty convenient and you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever when it comes to working on projects and rendering them speaking of rendering we'll just try to render this 
um, download right now so let me go into the render option and speaking of rendering now let me just try to render this project we're just in the render tab right in here and of course we got a render engine selected to cycles and our GPU just utilized as a device to render the stuff because it's the fastest thing that we have in the laptop right, so let me just put this to be rendered at uh, 1080p 1920 so it's the full HD so now let me just go and render the project we're gonna render the image in 1080p as you can see it started doing the job the cloak goes in and we're gonna see how much time that will take to render this thing So as you can see now, it has been finished with the time of 7 minutes. So yeah, the 1080p file has been rendered in just 7 minutes. Alright, so now let me just go into the settings and we're gonna set this to 4K. And yeah, it's set it to 4K. As you can see, all the things are just utilized uh, with the GTX 1050 being utilized. So that should be working. Now let me just go to the render tab and we're gonna render the image once again, just in 4K. Here we go, almost there guys, and we're just about to end this rendering. Yeah, it took like 20 minutes, 19 minutes, 19 minutes to be more specific. Um, to render the 4K, this donut file here, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, the textures are just really, really nice. You don't really see that many pixels. And the next thing that we're gonna get is the 8K file. So let me just put that on 8K right now. 7680 by 4320 just like this let's go ahead and render this once again and boom it's rendering So guys, we just finished rendering the 8K image of this, uh, you know, 3D project here. And it took us, let me just see. So as you can see guys, it took us um, 1 hour and 17 minutes to render this beautiful image. As, as you can see, there aren't any pixels visible at all. This thing is just absolutely beautiful. You have a nice crispy looking um, dog of this done and it's just beautiful now let me just go to the uh, timer as you can see 1 minute and 18 minutes um, so yeah so thank you guys for watching this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more beautiful and tasty content like this see you guys in the next video